Good morning. I have just arrived at the office. I am working from the Quantum Lab in Santa Barbara this week to talk about our product strategy with the hardware team and to discuss the roadmap towards our next big hardware milestone. Good morning. Give me a wave, Elliot. <laughs> Hello. Say hi, Bailey. Gotta this is Dave. And Bailey, the Googler. <laughs> hi. Who are you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Alex. Um, right now, I'm just taking down some equipment we put up for you guys today. Um, it allowed you guys to uh, lay each other, which is basically just means um, putting the trust in your friends uh, and have fun. Uh -huh. Thank you. And here in the background, you see some of our paper covers that the team has worked on. And yes. So Robin is a computer scientist. You're a computer scientist uh, who works on our algorithms, and he joins us from the Microsoft team, where he was for a number of years. You might be our first. Hey folks, I'm Kevin Setzinger. We just got out of our group meeting, um, where we were catching up on some some team updates and then doing some Q and A with our leadership. Went went great. Now everybody's heading off to lunch. And can you tell us what your what your work is about? Oh sure. Um, I am focusing on quantum error correction experiments, um, like our recent surface code demonstrations. Thanks, Kevin. So it's lunchtime now, and here in the quantum lab, normally everyone has lunch together outside because it's so sunny in California. So yes, there are some people from the team still lingering. Some of them have already run back to their desks. And um, in a moment, I'll start showing you about the lab a little bit. Smile! It's for a good cause. This is Monica. Well, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Monica. I work with, in the Quantum AI group and I'm a technical operations lead. So I'm organizing and making sure all the roadmaps and uh, tasks are being done to meet our goals. Thanks, great. <laughs> and we are going in. So would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hey, I'm Anthony, and I'm a hardware engineer at Google AI on the packaging team. And Anthony is about to show us around the clean room, so we have to quickly get ready to go in to make sure we don't bring in any dust, and then we'll do a little quick tour. Walk along to our clean room. Uh, do you want to start with a tour real quick? Or... Yeah, let's do a quick tour. Okay. It's pretty sparse here, uh, but we're still building it up. It's kind of going around and we enter the bond tester. We use it for like reliability testing, for wear bonds. Uh, here we have very nice microscope hands. This one, the L series, important measurement, and that one is like an optical microscope. Uh, and in the back, we have two wire bonds. The machines here, the white bond. We drop down some wire bonds for our packages, and we have some few hoods for the mini. Okay. Tell us about this machine. So this is a bond tester from Nordson. Uh, it has a couple of these cartridges here that we can slot in. And what it does is it really has the motorized stage here, it's just not moving much. And also you see, throw up, get a hook underneath some wires and pull them. We have like the shear tool and the shear and support values. Okay. Okay, perfect. We have another person joining us now. Frank is just getting ready in the changing room. Frank, tell us what you do. So um, uh, my name is Frank Arut. I'm 
I'm a packaging engineer here at Quantum AI, and uh, my main responsibility is actually shifting from the more production side, which you'll probably see some of today, to more of the R&D research side. Now it is time to go and say hello to some other people in the lab, and hopefully they will be able to show us what they are doing. So let me quickly take all of this off. <laughs> Rebecca, and could you point out a little bit more what we are looking at? Sure. So this cryostat has uh, multiple stages that are at different temperatures. So at the top, we start out at room temperature, and as you go down, the temperatures get colder down to the very, very bottom when the whole thing is assembled, um, and that's where our processor lives and does its work in a very, very cold environment. Great, thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check out one of the hardware Tell us what you guys are working on at the moment. Um, building the wireling for the, uh, the bridge. Okay, great. And then I'm currently assembling some readout powers here for the next research on the Sahara and on the Okay, great, thanks. So behind us here, we have some of the art made by our quantum artist in residence. This is Mike. He's going to show us a little bit what he's working on at the moment. Let me click the camera. Amusing thing to see is how many wires there are uh, that it takes to uh, talk to a quantum computer. And so, with some help, someone had uh, I had to install uh, most of these wires. <laughs> get pretty handy with a wrench. Okay, great. And what else are we looking at here? Uh, so the other thing we're looking at is that's a uh, new shield. So that's uh, inside of it are a bunch of other cans to keep it cold and under vacuum, but that actually keeps the magnetic field out of it. We are in the offices now. This is Pedro. Can you tell us a little bit about your work? Yeah, I, I'm looking for near-term applications with qubits working with few tens of qubits and thinking that what can be done without error correction. Basically, that's my reason. Great, thank you. And you already know Elliot from the staircase this morning. <laughs> uh. Quantum art everywhere. It's time to have a coffee. So I am just walking through the part of the lab which is still under construction. The team is growing really fast, so we are trying to add a lot more desk space here. The view is really beautiful, so I'll show it to you quickly. It's a huge space with tons of light and a lovely view of trees and in the background the mountains. And yes, I think it will be wonderful here. <laughs> so, tell Hi. us who you are and what you work on. 
Hi, I'm Kenny Lee. Uh, I'm a research scientist on the quantum AI team, and my job is to figure out why the performance of our quantum computers are what they are. My job is to figure out where things are going wrong and how we fix them. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. We are here outside on the terrace. It's the end of the afternoon, and we've just been having a nice chat about the product strategy. Give me a wave. It is 6.30 p.m. and I am leaving the office now. I hope you enjoyed um, meeting some of my colleagues and having a look around the lab. Bye.